Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Raging Tempest! Okay, so let's talk about the release date. The release date of uh, Raging Tempest is February 9th, 2017. It introduces Zodiac and Wind Witch. And also, I want to say a fun fact about Zodiac. Is Zodiac on release on TCG and OCG, especially in the OCG, as they get, obviously, their cards first before us. This was a card in the early, early format when it was released that it was so powerful that it was banned at locals, in every single locals, in Japan. It was just that oppressive. It was just that obnoxious. Stores in OCG were just sick of this deck. They were just tired of it. So that's something that's never happened in uh, TCG before. I mean, in the entirety of the game's history, we've never seen an archetype just outright banned officially in stores, right, by the organizers. So that's definitely something that goes to show just how powerful Zodiac is. And even though we've had other tier zero archetypes before, and even now we have Snake Eyes, which is considered tier zero, Telemans a few years back, uh, that's also considered tier zero. We've had a lot of tier zero decks in the past, but it is only Zodiac that has managed to get itself an infamous reputation for being banned in every OCG locals. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, let's move on with the rest of this video. We have our legacy support. Crystron, Spiral, Shinobird, Shadol, and Infernoid. And finally, our wild card is The Grass Looks Greener. Indeed, this is the set that premiered this card. Um, this card is a significant card in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, as I believe after this card was released, in the, f in the ban list afterwards, it got limited straight away, immediately. It was just that powerful. Same in OCG, TCG and OCG got limited. And in OCG, I think this card has not been banned. It has still been prevalent to this very day. However, in TCG, um, the next list after, ban list after, uh, Grass Looks Greener was banned straight away. Um, definitely shows the philosophy and thinking of TCG that when we see a problematic card, we get rid of it straight away. So that's a fun fact that you just need to know about the Grass Looks Greener. And also, you can find the Grass Looks Greener in Master Duel if you are interested in, it, is interested in it. I believe it's still in Duel Links. And in all other forms of media except TCG, um, Grass Looks Greener is legal and is available uh, to you to play. So you can definitely play it online on a, an official simulator if you do want to get that itch of the grass looks greener. Let's move on to the next part. And so we'll go to the value card, which is the Wind Witch package. Indeed, Wind Witch premiered in this set, and this was the first time we had a compact package in, I mean, you know, engine anyway, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Have we had compact packages before this point? Uh, not really. Uh, the Brilliant Fusion package was quite big. I do talk about that in Historic Archetype with Gem Knights. That was quite big as you played quite a lot of cards. You, um, so it was quite a lot. Whereas the Wind Witch package was really quite self-contained. And it didn't really promote a brick. This one I would say was the first uh, engine packages we got in Yu-Gi-Oh! That was very self-contained and wasn't really a brick if you drew any of its corresponding pieces. So that's something to bear in mind. We also have the fact that um, this booster set introduced the one XYZ summoner mechanic into the game, with Zodiac being its introduction. We do see it again with the Salaman Great XYZ, as that can be, uh, one of it can be used for an XYZ summon. One XYZ summon, we also see it with Super Quants. 
as they do as they have a as they have a mechanic as well that do one card xyz summoning and we also see it in our current future support for really bust uh which is zeus and typhon so definitely these are things we've got to bear in mind take into consideration that the one xyz summon mechanic was introduced in raging tempest has been improved upon and released in future sets and in further archetypes whether they're in archetypes or in singular cards so that's something that needs to be taken into consideration when con when considering about the one xyz summer mechanic let's talk about it and so the final grading for this set is s tier that's an amazing grade why is it s tier First of all, this is the set that got Entity Norden banned. And what makes this quite hilarious is that Norden has been, at this point in time, was in the game for a long time. It was usually cheated out with Instant Fusion. But the very first time that it was made via its required materials, as Entity Norden's required materials were 2XYZ monsters, or one XYZ monster and uh, one Synchro monster to make it, to hard make it. You just fusion summon it straight out the gate. But it was usually cheated out as instant fusion could cheat it out. And it was on a free summon as it special summoned a level four monster from your graveyard for easy. It was a one card, Entity Norton was a one card XYZ play, one card Synchro play. And at times it could even be a one card fusion play depending on how you used entity node <coughs> anyways so entity node got banned here when it was made through the hard way which is quite hilarious when you really think about it overall this is a set that introduced a lot of things into Yu-Gi-Oh that we know today a lot of familiar mechanics that we're now that are part of archetypes play styles here they were just introduced and that's something that's would i say it's very important not really but definitely fills a gap of the creativity and things we're familiar with with our mechanics today that back then are just scratching the surface and that's all i've got to say about this so tune in next time where we'll talk about another historic set. Hope to see you soon. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.